If you have watched my channel regularly, then you know there are a few headphones I like very much. I usually do not talk about my personal sound preferences and reviews, but people sometimes ask me about it. The Bass Audio G12 is one of my favorite headphones. It is well built, made in America, has an open back design with a balanced sound signature, and this was the first headphone in my experience that clearly demonstrated that open back designs can provide excellent bass presence, including in the sub bass region. Subsequently, the Sivka Phoenix was released and now rivals the G12's bass response. The one caveat about the G12, one aspect that might be bothersome, assuming you like the sound, is the comfort of the ear pads. The stock G12 ear pads are an on ear design and press against your ears, causing fatigue. Over time, the foam in these stock ear pads will soften, but that takes many hours. As an alternative, I recommended Grado style G Kush ear pads. I tried a few Chinese knockoffs, which turned out to be no more comfortable than the stock G12 ear pads. I then bought the real Grado G Kush ear pads and found them to be very comfortable. Several months ago, Bass Audio informed me that they now have a larger ear pad for the G12. This comes in a kit. The larger ear pads are sent with two elastic bands, which fit into the ear cups first. Bass Audio says that these bands will balance the lower frequencies for the larger ear pads because the bands cover the dampener vents. Comparing the official G Kush ear pads to the official larger G12 ear pads, the size seems to be identical. The density, however, is different. The G12 ear pads are more dense, stiffer. Moreover, the G Kush ear pads are slightly angled. The sound difference between the G Kush and larger G12 ear pads seem to be minimal. As far as I can tell, both have similar bass representation. That is, sub bass is audible and clear, mid bass has a hard slam, and there is generally natural decay. The mids differ marginally. The G Kush ear pads exhibit slightly less sibilance than the larger G12 ear pads. Treble response appeared to be very close, and I was not able to tell a difference here. Between the original stock G12 ear pads and the larger G12 ear pads, there are more significant differences, I think. The original G12 ear pads have more elevated sub bass. They also have slightly harder mid bass slam and energy. The original ear pads tend to exhibit marginally greater clarity and separation between sub bass and mid bass. The original pads also have slightly less sibilance in female vocals than the larger ear pads. Treble energy seems similar between these two ear pads, however. Overall, I think the larger G12 ear pads are demonstrably more comfortable than the original. The larger pads are similar in comfort to the G Kush ear pads. It's good to see that Bass Audio addressed the ear pad issue. I assume they received enough feedback for the team to create a solution, and here, I think they succeeded. As I said in the original G12 review, you may not like the G12 sound signature, but it is a sturdily built headphone and one which achieves excellent bass response, open back headphone or not. And since we're talking about my personal preferences, I will add that I enjoy the G12 on tube amplifiers. The added harmonic distortion provides a bit more melding between bass and mids, creating a thicker vocal presentation. If you get a chance, check out Bass Audio. They sell their gear directly, so no Amazon links here. Contact them through their website to get the alternative ear pads. For $180, I think the G12 is a great deal.